Hi there, Craig Hocknell here out at the PGA Professional Championship in Port St. Lucie. I'm going to talk to you about figuring out how far your bunker shots go with your different wedges. I've got a 60, a 56, and a 52. If I had these clubs out on the fairway grass, I would just make nice full swings and each club would go a dedicated distance. It does what it does, right? So when you get into the bunker, instead of trying to hit your bunker shots with these three clubs to a specific target, just hit them out of the bunker and let that experience reveal to you how far they go. So I'm going to start with my 60. So first thing I'm going to do, come in, take my standard bunker stance, ball position slightly forward, stance just straight to barely open. I don't, I'm not a big prescriber to a wide open stance. Slight and slight. Once I found my setup, I'm going to dig my feet and I will not grip down. I see too many golfers gripping down. I've dug my feet so I can get under the ball. If I then grip down, it cancels it out and I'm going to blade it. So I'm going to keep a full length grip on the club. Feet dug in. I'm going to do a halfway back, halfway through with each of these. So halfway back, halfway through, nice little splash of the sand. Another thing that digging your feet does basically ensures that you're going to hit the sand before the ball. Now I'm going to go to my 56. Same exact process. I know where my 60 degree went to. I would hope my 56 goes just a little bit further. Set up my ball slightly open, slightly open, full length, and dig. Halfway back, halfway through. Okay, it went just a little bit further. Then I grab my 52, same process. So I'm going to do my setup, slightly open, slightly open. Dig my feet, halfway back, halfway through. Okay, that went just a little bit further than the 56. So the same amount of power that I put into each one of these clubs, just like in the fairway grass, should produce different distances. Then what I can do, I can pace off this yardage and I will know typically how far that swing goes for each club. So next time you're out working on your bunker play, do this exercise to really help you calibrate those and figure out exactly how far they go.